Today's drug is omeprazole. Brand names Prilosec, Zegarid, and first omeprazole. The therapeutic category is that it's a proton pump inhibitor. The first indication is in gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, for the erosive and non-erosive types. The duration of therapy varies based on age and severity, for example, in patients one year of age and older with erosive esophagitis, the treatment duration is up to six weeks. If treating symptomatic GERD, treatment can be up to four weeks. The next indication is in heartburn. This is for the over-the-counter product. Treating uncomplicated heartburn in adults that typically occurs two or more times a week. Another indication is in H. pylori eradication. This is prescription only. It's used in combination with an antibiotic regimen in the treatment of H. pylori infections and duodenal ulcers in adults. Peptic ulcer disease. This is also prescription only. Treatment of duodenal or gastric ulcers. The next indication is in Zollinger-Ellison syndrome. This is also prescription only. Zollinger-Ellison syndrome is a condition in which the hypersecretions are treated long term with a PPI such as omeprazole. Off-label uses that will not be covered are in aspiration prophylaxis, Barrett esophagus, functional dyspepsia, NSAID-induced ulcers, and stress ulcers. Dosage form, strength, and dosing. Dosage forms are there's the delayed release capsule. It comes in a 10 mg, 20 mg, and 40 mg strength. The next dosage form is the packet. It comes in a 2.5 mg and 10 mg strength. And the final dosage form is delayed release tablets, and that comes in a 20 mg tablet. Dosing for GERD, that is the erosive or non erosive type. If mild to intermittent, which is classified as less than two times per week, you initiate 10 milligrams by mouth every day, and you can increase to 20 milligrams every day after four to eight weeks if needed. Discontinue after eight weeks of being asymptomatic. If severe and or frequent, which is classified as two or more times per week, and or if erosive esophagitis, Dosing is initiated between 20 and 40 milligrams by mouth every day. Continue for 8 weeks once symptoms appear under control. If severe erosive esophagitis or Barrett's esophagus, initiate 20 milligrams by mouth every day for long-term therapy. If symptoms persist and at 40 milligrams by mouth every day, Instead of doing the 20 milligrams by mouth twice daily, you can increase to 40 milligrams twice daily. Dosing for heartburn, you initiate 20 milligrams by mouth every day for a 14 day course. You may repeat the course every four months if necessary. Dosing for H. pylori eradication, Initiate dose between 20 and 40 milligrams by mouth twice daily, given along with antibiotic regimen. The dose is dependent to the antibiotic regimen being used. Dosing for peptic ulcer disease. If uncomplicated ulcer, 20 to 40 milligrams by mouth every day for 4 to 8 weeks. If refractory or recurrent, may increase to 20 to 40 milligrams by mouth twice daily. If complicated ulcers, which is defined as a perforation, penetration, gastric outlet, obstruction. You initiate 40 milligrams by mouth twice daily for four weeks. Then you go to 40 milligrams by mouth every day. Dosing for Zollinger Ellison syndrome. Initiate 40 mg by mouth twice daily. May titrate to max of 180 mg by mouth every day. The mean dosing appears to be around 60 and 70 mg per day in two divided doses.
Dosing for geriatrics and pediatrics is not covered, so please refer to the most current data. Geriatric dosing may need to be decreased due to the increased bioavailability in the elderly, and pediatric dosing is generally weight-based dosing. Special Populations and Considerations Elimination is decreased and bioavailability is increased in elderly populations, so dose adjustments should be made or the drug should be avoided if possible. Patients with hepatic impairment will have bioavailability and half-life increased, and the clearance from the plasma will be decreased. In terms of pharmacokinetics, the AUC, or the area under the curve, meaning the concentration in blood plasma over time, the AUC is increased in Asians. There is no increased risk or major birth defects shown in pregnancy. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology Omeprazole inhibits the hydrogen potassium ATP pump located in the parietal cells. Gastric basal and stimulated acid secretion are suppressed through proton pump inhibition. The absorption is rapid. The metabolism is hepatically, primarily through the CYP2C19 pathway and secondarily through the CYP3A4 pathway. Excretion is through the urine, with about 77% of its metabolites, and a tiny amount of the drug being unchanged. Also, the drug is excreted in feces. Clearance is between 500 to 600 milliliters per minute, and if hepatically impaired, the clearance decreases to around 79 milliliters per minute. The onset of action is around one hour, with the peak effect occurring within two hours. The time to peak in the plasma is between 0.5 and 3.5 hours. The duration of action is around 72 hours, with 50% of the max effect occurring in that first 24 hours. Proton pump activity returns to normal over 3 to 5 days, with max inhibition around 4 days. Half-life elimination is between 0.5 and 1 hour with healthy hepatic function, and it increases to around 3 hours with impaired hepatic function. Omeprazole is approximately 95% protein bound. Side effects the common side effects are headache, stomach pain, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, and gas. Diarrhea could be considered a more serious side effect because the concern is C. diff. Bone fractures in patients that are taking this drug for more than one year or longer is another serious concern. Drug interactions. Some drugs listed are methotrexate, rifampin, clopidogrel, tacrolimus, digoxin, warfarin, clarithromycin, and ketoconazole. Do not administer with other anti-secretion drugs such as H2 receptor antagonists like ranitidine. Avoid strong CYP2C19 inducers. Monitor if used with strong CYP2C19 inhibitors. Monitoring parameters. Monitor therapies if used with other drugs that rely on the CYP2C19 pathway. Another parameter is the magnesium levels. Patient counseling information. May be used to treat GI ulcers, GERD, heartburn, and other acid-related syndromes. The OTC treatment duration is 14 days every 4 months.